My name is Asha Miznazi and I'm a climb reporter out here in the Florida Everglades. My name is Sergio Balaguerra. And I'm Kevin Olaninchuk and we are with a 1.5 meter American alligator. Now let's go catch another alligator. Gator's eyes glow red like a warning light in the dark, which gives away where they're hiding the lily pads. Sergio steered and Kevin leaned over the front of the airboat with a snare. The gators weren't easy to catch. This one torpedoed under the boat to get away. In the 20 mile span, the biologist measured and weighed the two gators. Researchers catch and study gators because they're sensitive to environmental changes in the Everglades, which makes them a good indicator species for testing the hydrology for the multi-billion dollar Everglades restoration project. Alligators are a little like golden box. They need the water just right. Too much and they use too much energy catching fish and not enough and they can't move around to mate. We, we want to get the water right in the Everglades. Gators, they need water. That, that link is just, you know, giving us the blueprint. The ancient reptiles can also tell a story about climate change. Sea rise, water storms, and higher temperatures could change their nesting patterns and push the range further north. Now, don't go trying this because you need a permit, but do read the full story on the Miami Herald.